<laughs> we grew up in a small town in Mississippi. And back then, you know, you didn't have uh, access to medical things, to, to, to doctors and, and dentists and and people that could uh, steer you correctly. And so, you know, if you were born with a club foot or something, you just had a club foot. Or if you were born with uh, other deformities, you just used to kept them. As I say, we, we were, uh, grew up in a small town. We, uh, we had a town drunk. We didn't have a village idiot. We had to share with the next town. We were too small. So we had to have a village idiot. But, uh, we had this family, and they had two sons, and one uh, was crippled. He had a club foot, could not walk. So everybody just called him the cripple. Now he's, he's just crippled. The other one had a cleft palate, and you know what we call those in those days. He was a hair lip, you know. And he thought like me, you know. And of course, you can get them fixed now, but you know, they didn't bother getting them fixed. And so, uh, Later on, in, in, after a while, they, they came into a little money, but they still had these two, two sons. I ran, I was down in town on the street one day and ran into the, to the uh, boy with the speech impediment. We spoke, and how do doing this? I'm doing fine, you know. So uh, I asked him uh, how his brother was doing. He said, oh, he's doing fine, he's doing fine. He's at home, though, that, you know, he don't get out much. You know, he's a quibble. I said, yes, I understand that. I said, I haven't seen you bound too much lately. Uh, where have you been? He said, oh, good. I said, we've been to Europe. I said, you've been to Europe? He said, man, we took a trip to Europe. Took a trip to Europe. I said, my goodness. I said, what did you, what did you, did you, did you take your brother with you? Yeah, yeah, we took him. He couldn't do much, you know, he's a quibble. I said, yes, I understand that. Uh, but you took him with we took, took him with us. And I said, uh, well, where did you go? He said, oh, man, we went to London. You went to London. I went to London. I said, what did you say? Well, then we hung the London Bridge, and we hung the, the house of the Parliament, and the Tim Willow, and uh, the Big Ben, and the Tainting of the God at Buckingham Palace. And, and we did all you know, all sorts of things, and uh, the Tower of London. I said, "Well, that's wonderful." Well, how did your brother like those? He said, "Well, he he, he couldn't see them. He just stayed in the hotel. You know, he's a quip." I said, "Yes, that's that's the parent." I said, "Did you go anywhere else?" Yeah, I said, we went to Paris. I said, "We went to Paris." Went to Paris. I said, "What did you see in Paris?" He said, well, we saw the, the, the Notre Dame Cathedral and the Eiffel Tower and uh, we saw the left bank of the Thane and, and the Thomas Bejaer and, you know, all those wonderful things and the Arc de Triomphe. And I said, well, that's good. How did your brother like those? He said, well, he didn't see none of those. You know, he just stayed in the hotel. You know, he the quipple. I said, yes, that's, that's too bad. I said, did you go anywhere else? Yeah, he said, we went to Rome. You went to, went to Rome, we did. I said, what did you see in Rome? Well, we saw the Pompeium and the Roman Forum and the, the Appian Way and the, uh, you know, the Tavern Hill of the Wall and uh, we saw uh, uh, a Vatican City. I said, that's what he said. And let me tell you something. He said, we went to Vatican City one day and said, you know, my brother hadn't gotten to see much, so, you know, he's a cripple. He just been staying in the hotel. But then we took my brother with us. And I said, well, that was wonderful that you did that. Uh, how did he like it? He said, oh, he really enjoyed it. Then we went uh, to the Vatican, and we saw the Pope. We saw the Pope. I said, you did? He said, yes. And he said, not only that, that the Pope saw my brother. And he saw my brother, and he called my brother up. And he prayed over him, and he laid his hand on him, and my brother jumped up and threw his crutches away. I said, my goodness, he was cured. He said, no, he just fell on his ass. He's a cripple. 